Good afternoon. In today's lecture, we will discuss in detail the Customer Relationship Management or CRM. First, let us discuss what's meant by CRM. In the business world, CRM systems help organizations to better understand their customers' expectations and how to satisfy them. CRM systems bring together customer information from different sources such as websites, emails, telephone conversations, and much more. CRM systems and strategies are important for one very simple reason. If you don't have an accurate and complete picture of who your customers are and what they expect, you cannot help to appeal to them. In turn, you may lose business to your competitors unless your current customer satisfaction rate is consistently high. Now, we are going to move deeper into the CRM systems. In this lecture, we will provide an overview of CRM systems, their evolution and types. Also, we'll discuss the customer relationship functions and processes, the CRM technology, and the implementation lifecycle of CRM. And finally, we will conclude with the implications of CRM technology on management. So, you will be able to understand the process of CRM, review the evolution, current status, and categories of CRM systems, understand the CRM system architecture and main components, identify the steps involved in the CRM lifecycle and its relationship with other enterprise software, and finally, understand the impact of CRM on the organization. So, in this lecture, we will cover from the beginning the process in which a business or organization administrates its interaction with customers using data analysis to study large amounts of information. This process is called Customer Relationship Management or CRM. CRM systems compile data from a range of different communication channels, including a company's website, telephone emails, live chat, marketing materials, and more recently, the social media. CRM focus should always be on customer experience. Because customer expectations often change, it is important for the company to understand that CRM implementation needs to be customer driven more than technology driven. That is CRM implementation must involve people, process and systems rather than just another defined IT applications, which leads to considering CRM as a core business strategy that integrates internal process and function and external networks to create and deliver value to a target customer at profit. It is it is grounded on high quality customer data and information technology to increase customer loyalty and in turn increase the profit. So CRM is much more than the software used to store, evaluate and manage customer relationships. Now, let us consider the different definitions of CRM. There can be many definitions of CRM from different perspectives. From the viewpoint of the management, CRM can be defined as an organized approach of developing, managing, and maintaining a cost-effective relationship with customers. But by equating the term with technology, the IT organizations define CRM as a software that supports marketing, selling, and service operations of a business. A more general definition defines CRM as an approach to manage a company's interaction with current and potential customers by integrating the corporate strategy, business methodology, and technology to accomplish a several goals for the company that want to operate in a customer-driven environment. CRM uses data analysis about customers' history with the company to improve business relationships with customers, especially focusing on the ability to provide the exact products and services your customer want, consistent provision of outstanding customer service, building a deeper understanding of your target audience, better customer loyalty 
and word of mouth marketing and at last driving sales growth. One important aspect of the CRM approach is the systems of CRM that compile data from a range of different communication channels such as companies' website, telephone, email, live chat, marketing materials, and more recently, the social media. In the 1980s, companies started using IT to automate customer processes with discrete customer-centric applications, such as Salesforce automation for managing prospects and sales activities. Customer Center support systems for complaint management and marketing automations for advertising campaigns and customer segmentations. In the late 90s, companies began to take a full view of a customer, so they started integrating these discrete systems into what is now known as CRM. CRM began in response to a changing marketing environment at mass marketing gave way to segment marketing and recently to target marketing based on individuals. Mass marketing techniques presented one message to a wide and different base and depends on the idea of the more frequently you presented messages to the consumers, the greater chance you have of piquing the interest of a new or existing customer. As the media boomed, mass marketing proved expensive and measuring return on advertising was unclear. Now, let us take some examples of mass marketing. The key to mass marketing is to choose a value that is universally shared and desired. Some good examples are presented in the marketing images above, such as happiness in Coca-Cola, creativity in Apple, and impossible is nothing by Adidas. They choose values most people aim to, such as to become happier or more creative. At the same time, these values are intangible enough so they are never fulfilled, which helping brands leverage the desire of the customers for more of them and lead to selling more of whatever they produce or offer. Now we will discuss the improvement of CRM technologies within the CRM evolution figure. As we see in the early block, companies improved segment marketing using new technologies that collect consumer data, such as preference and satisfaction surveys, demographic collection, focus group data, and point of sale collection technology. These tools give industry an enhanced insight at why a customer buys a certain product or service along with the relative satisfaction level or impression customers had with a company or brand. By using technology to analyze customers' data, companies have found that incremental sales to loyal existing customers is much more gainful than acquiring new customers. This shifted the importance of on maximizing the customer's experience with the brand and the customer relationship discipline which gave way to CRM softwares. The expectations of a CRM system have developed over time, where organizations first implemented CRM to capture customers' data for analysis to find out what aspects are important to their clients. The software can track all aspects of sales and after sales customer service and support activities, such as complaint management or satisfaction feedback. Each point of contact with the consumer can be recorded. This allows development of a business process across marketing, sales, and customer service. One limitation of this first generation CRM was that this information did not filter to the management level. There was no corporate wide sharing of consumers' experiences and adjustments of the organization strategy based on that CRM knowledge. The second evolution of CRM began with the improvement in techniques of data gathering and analysis. Organizations could get a true picture of the economic value of a relationship with the, with the customer, where a complete view of the client's sales may reveal 
that the cost of marketing, selling, and servicing the client contradicts much of the profit gathered by a sale. So customer-based measures of products and services is used to customize customer experience. Automatic personalized marketing such as rewards for purchasing and customized promotions, automated sales and personalized customer service is used to customize the customer experiences with the brand. Management had access to the CRM knowledge and used it to understand the past and current business environment and also to forecast the directions of their business by fully integrating CRM with enterprise-wide data collection and analysis systems. CRM software is continuously evolving. Globalization and global connectivity are forcing companies to reevaluate how to deliver value to customers. Globalization also has leveled the playing field for large and small companies to deliver similar products at lower prices with several options for customers. A web surfing customer today has much power with the help of the internet and can change a vendor anytime with a click of a button. To be successful in this competitive environment, companies must deliver both quality products and unique purchasing experience for their customers, depending on the customer's current environment, physical location, time and needs. Companies that have understand the tactical value of CRM in reducing costs, improving communication and managing customers are discovering that CRM can also add a strategic value to the company. Where there is a shift in CRM focus from cost reduction to building brand loyalty and growth. The information collected and evaluated in the CRM program can be used to create a unique branded experience for each client. The theory is if you can create a unique and meaningful experience for your customers, they will remain loyal to your brand, which will in return increase sales. This is called customer retention. Next, we will see some examples of customer retention. Customer retention is the act of keeping existing customers engaged with a brand so that they return to do business with this brand again and again. One of the most common customer retention examples is rewarding consumers for doing business with a brand, rewards program encouraging customers to return by giving these customers some discounts, exclusive access or special offers, such as Vodafone rewarding program for its flex customers with a 50% discount on their meals from KFC or the bonus points program from the Commercial International Bank CIB. Another customer retention example is Starbucks. Starbucks has one of the most popular customer rewards programs. This program helps customers earn free food and drinks, place and pay for their orders and receive personalized offers. Starbucks also has another success story for convenience loyalty where customers choose Starbucks to buy from for the reason that it's more convenient for them by offering the drive through service. They made their coffee purchasing experience easier than other competitors, especially in the morning rushing hours when customers want to order a coffee on their way to work. As you see in this figure, CRM captures customer data and interact with the customer at the same time to develop specific strategies for interaction with each customer, such as better relationship with customers, locating and uh, attracting new customers that will be gameful, and finding appropriate strategies to deal with non-profit customers, including the termination of such relationship. This is strategies for interaction with each customer is to provide a link between CRM and customer value. So what is customer value? 
customer value is defined as the economic value of the customer relationship to the company expressed based on contribution margins and net profit. That's why CRM could be seen as the practice of evaluating and using marketing databases and communication technologies to adjust company practices and methods that will maximize the lifetime value of each individual customer to the firm and gain several benefits to an organization, such as decreasing in cost, maximization of revenues, improvement in profit and return on investment, acquisition and retention of gainful customers, and finally, reactivation of dormant customers. Several criteria can be used to categorize CRM systems. From a functionality perspective, there are two types of CRM, one related to customer service or support and the other to sales force automation. From a business strategy perspective, CRM systems can be categorized by three complementary perspectives, business, technology, and customers. Finally, from an implementation perspective, CRM systems can be operational, analytical, and collaborative. Each category of CRM systems will be explained in details next. Functionality perspective of CRM is oriented towards customer-centric business processes such as selling and services. This category includes the Salesforce automation and customer service or support. Salesforce Automation, or SFA, is the application of technology to manage selling activities. It regulates a sales cycle and common terminology for sales issues among all the sales employees of a business. It includes the following modules. The product configuration enables salespersons or customers themselves to automatically design the product and decide the price for a customized product. It is based on if-then-else structure. Quotation and proposal management. The salesperson can generate a quotation for a product, prices and proposal for the customer by entering details such as customer name, delivery requirements, product code, number of pieces, and so on. Account management manages inward entries, credit and debit amounts, for different transactions and stores transaction details as records. Lead management lets the users qualify leads and assign them to appropriate salesperson. Contact management is enabled with the features such as customers' contact details, salesperson's calendar, and automatic dialing numbers. These are all stored in the form of computerized records Using this application, a user can communicate effectively with the customer. Opportunity management lets the user identify and follow leads from lead status to closure and beyond closure. The second type of CRM in functionality perspective is a customer service support. Customer service involves service level management resolving issues or cases, and addressing inbound communication. It involves diagnosing and solving the issues about product and service, known as the complaint department. Customer service and support, or CSS, is responsible for retaining and extending customer relationships once a product or service is sold. Due to the increasing complexity of customer interaction, Organizations need a complex technological infrastructure that is flexible, extensible, and scalable to integrate front office applications with the back-end process and data. The components of CSS include call management, which is the core functionality of CSS applications. This component is used to log all incoming telephone calls and transactions and manage the transaction from initiation through closure. Internet-based customer service uh, modules, also known as e-service packages. These applications and tools empower customers, partners, and prospects for self-service and interaction 
with the enterprise using the web and intranet or extranet. Field service and dispatch systems has become an essential element of complete CSS modules and is an important element of customer relationship management. The field service software is evolving from slowly back office functionality to an enterprise system that tightly coupled the back office with the front office servicing systems. Contact centers, traditional call centers handle voice only customers contact, whereas contact centers include all types of channels of customer contact, including voice through telephone, speech recognition and voice verification, the web, fax, video, and emails. This is an inbound and outbound service-based environment in which agents handle all types of contacts regarding sales, customer service, marketing, telemarketing, collections, and other functions. Another criteria can be used to categorize CRM systems. From a business strategy perspective, CRM systems can be categorized by three complementary perspectives as shown in the table. From the business perspective, CRM systems support customer-centric approach based on customer segmentation. This CRM approach focuses on personalized interactions with customers or potential customers through one-to-one -one marketing or personalized marketing. Moreover, offering customer rewarding approaches to generate a better return on marketing investment. As a result, the organization gains greater customer loyalty and retention. Technology perspective of CRM is based on application of technology across organization boundaries with a view to optimize the organization and foster close relationship with customers. It aligns resources and strategies of the company for identifying, acquiring, developing, retaining, and maintaining valuable customers by analysis of customers' information to keep a coherent view of their customers. Viewing CRM from customers' perspective is a type of CRM in which the business puts the customer first. It collects, separates, and applies information about customers and market trends to produce better value proposition for the customer by offering greater fine-tuning of segmentation strategies to target individuals' customer with, cust with customized product offering, optimizing current and future value of customers, and maximizing customer fairness by maximizing profits over a series of transactions which sustain mutually gainful relationships between the customer and the company, which at the end leads to increase of customer loyalty and provide better word of mouth advertising by these customers. Finally, from an implementation perspective, CRM systems can be categorized into operational, analytical, and collaborative. Operational CRM systems provide front and back end support for sales and marketing, administrative personnel, and customer service processes. They improve the efficiency of CRM delivery and support processes. They are often embedded in campaign management and customer help desk. They are integrated with the, with the corporate databases to provide a single and consistent view of the customer from anywhere in the organization. The primary goal of customer relationship management systems is to integrate and automate sales, marketing, and customer support. These systems typically have to have a dashboard that gives an overall view of the three functions on a single customer view, a single page, for each customer that a company may have. The dashboard may provide client information, past sales, previous marketing efforts, and more, summarizing all the relationships between the customer and the firm. Analytical CRM systems provide tools for collecting and analysis of data gathered during the operational process to help create a better relationship and experience with clients and end users. They store and value at customers' knowledge for better understanding of customers' needs and behaviors. 
Analytical CRMs utilize sophisticated data warehousing, OLAB, and data mining software for planning, monitoring, and analyzing business activities and to support business intelligence needs. For example, over the analysis of customer-based buying behavior, a company might see that this customer has not been buying a lot of products recently. After scanning this data, the company might think to market to this subset of consumers differently in order to best communicate how this company's product might benefit this group especially. Finally, the collaborative CRM systems deal with the interaction points between the organization and the customer. These outlets are referred to as channels. Common channels are the telephone, email, internet, and fax, among other forms of communication to facilitate open and effective communication with a variety of customers with multitude of preferences. CRMs today integrate these channels with an integrated CRM portal that provides a gateway for customers to access information and to interact electronically with the company. The, the third primary aim of CRM systems is to incorporate external stakeholders such as suppliers, vendors, and distributors and share customer information across groups or departments and organizations. For example, feedback can be collected from technical support calls, which could help provide directions for marketing products and services to that customer in the future. The function of CRM is to balance the corporate needs with successful fulfillment of customers' needs. CRM needs a tight integration with business processes that involve customers. Customer processes are also hard to model because they rely on the underlying support of knowledge on product, market, and customer. As a result, a CRM cannot automate all the customer relationships, and it is often considered a knowledge-intensive process. On the other hand, a good CRM should provide support for the following functions. Capture and maintain of customer needs, motivations, and behaviors over the lifetime of the relationship. Enable the use of customer experience for continuous improvement of this relationship. Integrate marketing, sales, and customer support activities. And finally, measuring and evaluating the process of knowledge acquisition and sharing. Research in the support of customer relationships processes has shown that these processes can be categorized into three areas. Delivery process, support process, and analysis process. Next, we will discuss each process in details. CRM delivery process. Focus on direct contact with the customer to support the sequence of activities to solve a specific problem, such as buying a car. Campaign management, sales management, service management, and complaint management are the key customer delivery processes that need CRM support. The key goal of campaign management is to generate leads or potential clients for the organization. It involves planning, realizing, control, and monitoring of relationships aimed at current and potential customers. Today's marketing campaigns require individualized or segmented contacts with the consumers with a feedback channel for consumers to interact. The second process is sales management. The goal of sales management is to convert the lead generated by campaign management into a potential customer. It requires a full understanding of the customer's need and provides alternatives to satisfy the requirements and to close the deal. Next process is a service management. The goal of service management is to provide ongoing support for the client and to assist in the operation of the product or service purchased by the customer such as help desk support or contracts and billing support. The underlying objective is to maintain an ongoing relationship with the customer, making sure they remain satisfied and will potentially buy more products or services in the future. In complaint management, sales of products or services often creates dissatisfaction with consumers 
that needs to be monitored and managed effectively. The goal is to improve customer satisfaction by directly addressing the complaint of the customer and supporting a continuous improvement process to increase customer retention in long run. The customer support process focuses on supporting activities with customer contact rather than facilitating direct customer contact. This includes market research, loyalty management, and others. Market researches focus on systematic design, collection, analysis, and reporting of data, and on finding relevant to specific sales activity in an organization. This process involves integration of external and internal data from a wide variety of sources. In today's market, with increasing competition and decreasing customer loyalty, loyalty management provides the process to optimize the duration and intensity of relationships with customers. It can increase the switch costs of the customer by providing incentives like the frequent flyer programs and churn management tools, which provide early warning on customers planning to switch to competitors. Here are some examples of the changes driven by market research. The first example is McDonald's. After several quarters of declining sales, McDonald's executives decided in 2015 that major changes were required to combat the public perception of McDonald's products as being unhealthy. So based on market research, the company made many changes and no longer sell chicken products containing human antibiotics or other harmful ingredients such as phosphates. Other changes include adding more salad choices and healthier desserts including apple slices also including fresh vegetables instead of fries in kids' happy meals. The second example is Lego. For years, Lego was a hugely successful product with young boys, but was popular with only 10% of female children. In response, Lego conducted a huge four-year market research campaign with over 3,500 young girls, resulting in a new product line featuring exciting colors and different figures. The new products become a huge success and the share of female LEGO users increased sharply. Starbucks has one of the most popular customer rewards programs. Starbucks rewards let members take advantage of special deals in a way that brand can track engagement and ensures it reflects the customer's account. Their program helps customers to earn free food and drinks, place and pay for their orders, and receive personalized offers. In the CRM analysis process, the back-end process collect, consolidate, and analyze customer knowledge collected from other CRM processes. The knowledge generated from these processes provides support to such customer contact processes as campaign management and loyalty management, by this means improving their effectiveness. The focus of the lead management process is on organizing and ranking contacts with the prospective customers. It involves integration with campaign management and service management, as well as customer profiling. A sub-process of lead management is customer scoring, which uses quantitative and qualitative measures to rank the customers based on his or her interest in the product or service. This filtering process allows for more precise target marketing and it lowers the contact costs. The focus of customer profiling process is to develop a marketing profile of every customer by observing his or her buying patterns, demographics, buying and communication preferences and other information that allows categorization of this customer. The knowledge generated from this process feeds into a campaign management, sales management, service management and other processes discussed earlier. In addition, this process allows more individualized contact with the customer. 
A good CRM requires a closed knowledge management loop that consolidates, analyzes, and shares the customer information collected by CRM delivery and support processes with the analysis process and vice versa. The loop can provide a roadmap for continuous improvement process for the company's products and services. A good system will discard unnecessary data and focus only on the knowledge useful for making better decisions. The two key technologies applicable to customer service are CRM and call centers technologies. As call center technology focuses on facilitating better communication between a customer and the telephone operator, on the other hand, CRM technology implements a company-wide business strategy in an effort to reduce cost and enhance services to gain customer loyalty. There is a wide variety of CRM softwares in the marketplace. With the rise of the internet, data mining and analytics techniques have advanced to where they can be considered an integral component of CRM. Through CRM brings together information from all data sources within an organization and where appropriate from outside the organization to give one holistic view of each customer in real time. This allows customer facing employees and customer support to make quick and informed decisions in resolving customer problems and issues. On one end, you have call center technology being sold as CRM. And on the other extreme, you have knowledge management systems also being sold as CRM software. So how an organization can decide which CRM technology deserves its time and attention. CRM is typically associated with so-called front office functions, such as marketing, sales, customer service, and knowledge management, which include data analysis, mining, and knowledge sharing. In the market research, the two key functionalities are campaign management and market analysis. Campaign management provides support for preparing touch things as marketing budgets, ad placement, sales targeting, and response management. Marketing analysis tools provide a statistical and demographic analysis, website traffic monitoring, and profiling tools. With the amount of data collected, these tools provide sophisticated segmenting and targeting capabilities in real time. Salesforce automation software has been around since long before CRM became a buzzword. Some of the current CRM vendors were originally in the Salesforce automation market. Salesforce automation tools provide basic functionality for sales personnel to automate sales lead direct distributions and tracking, sales reporting, pipeline management, context centralization and management, and group collaboration. They also include such software for sales managers and executives as opportunity management, forecasting, reporting, analytics, and customizable dashboards capabilities so that they can be confident that their teams are producing at their full capacity. The goal of sales force automation software is to give businesses the upper hand with their sales data and to empower sales representatives to spend more time selling and less time on administration. The customer service function has gone over major changes since the dawn of the internet. Online help desks have become a common source for customers to find quick answers to complex technical questions. Customer service originally consists of setting up a call center with access to customer's database and the frequently asked questions, website pages. Today, with sophisticated CRM backends, companies have been able to consolidate the two areas into help desk support centers. Customer service functionality typically includes help desk ticket management software, email, interactive chat, telephony, and other interaction tools connected to a fully integrated customer database, 
which is connected to the supply chain management and ERP applications. These tools can be accessed by a trained help center agent or by customers directly via the internet. The amount of data being generated by the web-driven business has been a driver for data mining and analytics functionality because it represents an extension of existing product lines rather than the creation of new ones. Such businesses as Amazon and eBay generate gigabytes of data every day and even small websites easily generate megabytes of data. This data must be collected, sorted, organized and analyzed for trends, demographic, cross-selling opportunities and identification of other sales patterns. Sophisticated OLAP services and data mining software are often integrated with CRM packages. So to understand the steps of the CRM process, you must first understand the customer life cycle. It is one of the first concepts you learn as a seller representative to understand how a person becomes a loyal customer. The CRM cycle involves marketing, customer service and sales activities. It starts with outreach and customer acquisition and ideally leads to customer loyalty. There are five key stages in the CRM cycle, reaching a potential customer, customer acquisition, conversion, customer retention, and finally customer loyalty. The CRM process is a concept in action. It is the tangible steps an organization must take to help drive consumers through the cycle of learning about your brand and becoming re repeat customer. According to the customer life cycle, you know that the first step in the CRM process is maximizing reach with leads. In practice, reach is using your CRM platform to generate brand awareness through targeted marketing campaigns. Every stage in this customer life cycle corresponds with an action step in the CRM process. The key is knowing what those steps are and how to execute them. The five steps of the CRM process are a collaborative effort between marketing, sales and support departments. To help you understand how each team works together, you will walk through how each step works in practice. The generate brand awareness is the first step to acquiring new customers and to introduce them to your business. The marketing team typically takes on this task through a number of measures, such as learning about your target audience, segmenting your target audience, and finally creating marketing campaigns that speak to those target demographics. Acquire leads, introduce your brand to a potential customer, it's just the beginning of the CRM process. From there, you have to encourage them to learn more about your business and engage with it. Depending on how your company is structured, this lead acquisition step could be a marketing or sales team responsibility or both. Your marketing team, for example, might encourage website visitors to share their emails with a newsletter, sign up, or a social media giveaways, SAID on the other hand can use their CRM system to set up live chat on your website. With this feature, your team can proactively re reach out to potential customers who land on your website. In the convert leads into customers, now you have successfully engaged with your leads and they are interested. Now it's time to turn those leads into customers. To do this, sales representatives must first be skilled at identifying how interest leads are and especially whether they are interested enough to make a purchase or not. A CRM system is very helpful here. The historical data from past successful sales can be used to identify lead qualifications criteria. These criteria can be added as attributes to your CRM lead scoring tool to help representatives identify opportunities with highest probability of sales. 
If leads do seem likely to make a purchase, representatives must then be able to fostering them further and build their trust enough to convert. One way to do this is for representatives to send leads case studies, white papers, and other resources that may sway their decisions. Provide superior customer service is done when you are successfully converted your leads into a customer, but the CRM process doesn't end when a customer converts. In order to grow at the company, you need to retain customers and to keep that customers coming back. So cu excellent customer service and support is required. When we think of a returning customer, we imagine a client who is coming back to the same business to buy the products they know or love. But there's another key way existing customers provide value by upgrading to more expensive products. How can you convince customers to switch products? Personalized recommendations are a great place to start. You can use your CRM to organize customers into smart lists based on similar purchased histories. You can then create custom email templates that send relevant products releases to an entire list of customers at once. This way, you can be sure the promotional deals or releases you send are reaching the people most likely to buy them. Recently, several major enterprise software vendors have announced new packages or services in the CRM area. Although these new offerings do not offer all major functions associated with their preceding categories, big CRM vendors provide more features than do the smaller vendors, but there is no software package that can work directly off the shelf. Most CRM packages will require moderate to extensive customization and integration to provide the features necessary for a company. The ability of a company to implement several CRM solutions can depend on the size of the company. A large company will have a better chance to find a CRM package to match their needs. CRM vendors today provide software for big and small businesses as shown in this table. CRM systems architecture can utilize connections to multiple sources of data to provide support and service representatives, detailed information that can aid a customer experience, increase sales revenue, and provide more efficient and faster real-time data. The CRM hardware architecture depends on a number of factors and considerations. Typical CRM system follow client-server architecture the system environment would consist of the following components. The application server runs either front-end processing or querying data and possible a web interface for the CRM system. Database server houses the back-end database and possibly retrieves information from other database systems in the company to present through the application server. Web server is used if the CRM provides an extranet access point for such external users as vendors or customers and an intranet access point for employees. Factors to consider when building the hardware architecture should be based on scalability for feature growth, performance of the end users and back-end processing, and the security requirements of the CRM system. Hundreds of users could require multiple applications and database servers, or hundreds of internet users could require several web servers. The CRM software architecture is usually the standard client-server configuration. This can be best described at the company once using a standard browser for a web-based client. Choosing a hosted architecture where the vendors host the CRM system or choosing an in-house CRM architecture is based on the requirements of the system. Customization is usually easier in-house, whereas the scalability and performance are better in hosted models. A good CRM system needs to be fully integrated with the enterprise resource planning and transaction systems, knowledge management systems, and office automation and communication systems. 
CRM systems typically process such well-structured information as customer contact data and profiles. They are supported by knowledge management systems, which provide such an unstructured information as documents and role-based systems for guidance and by ERB systems, which provide access to the transaction data. For example, customer support or help desk staff will need detailed information about the product and details on customer transactions from the ERP system and guidance on how to resolve the customer complaint from the knowledge management system. As we see in this example, when a customer calls your service representative for complaint about the washing machine, which is bought yesterday, after analysis by checking the system, the representative confirms that they sent the machine with the wrong color and they have no stock of the color the customer wants. So the representative creates a complaint in SAP CRM with a return request and a credit memo. Finally, the customer returns the washing machine and gets full refund. Two days later, the customer gets a call from a service analysis team to confirm the satisfaction of this customer. So in this example, the CRM system requires to be connected to several systems in order to confirm the purchasing of this client to the washing machine to track the stock of the company for the required color by the customer to create a return request and to contact the financial department for a credit memo to fully fund the customer. High-speed secure internet connectivity has recently encouraged a lot of internet and demand in hosted CRM systems. Using ThinkLine architecture, such vendors as Salesforce.com have provided firms with the option of a scalable CRM application packages using a browser and pay a per month or a per use set fees. Such vendors such as right now Microsoft and Oracle have all started offering hosted CRM solutions to small and large business. A wide variety of services like customization and data movement from hosted environment to a company server are offered to attract companies into hosted CRM services. While there are many advantages for on-demand CRM such as avoiding the headache of installing, upgrading, and maintaining CRM applications. One key concern many companies have is what happens when the hosted application service provider experiences downtime. As mentioned earlier, a customer relationship management system lifecycle involves focus on people, procedures, company, philosophy, and culture instead of just information technology. Upfront planning can minimize costly process and technology changes. The first step is to effectively outline the organization CRM goals and the practical process changes that must occur before focus on possible technology solutions. It helps to identify a baseline and to understand how core processes are currently accomplished, the key people who are involved, and how the information is currently handled. Identify inefficiencies and areas of opportunities. A CRM program should be integrated into the company's philosophy and brand. Functional requirements must be considered before making a decision on the architecture. These are extremely important pieces in implementing a CRM system. Functional requirements are the set of requirements defined by the key stakeholders of the CRM implementation. A functional requirement document should be created and reviewed by all key project stakeholders to identify if all essential processing and functionalities are presented during the implementation. Success or failure of the implementation is directly related to the functional requirements document that should be outlined for how the project progress and be set at the measurable mark to the implementation and control scope of the project. 
A well organized architecture can help the life cycle of a CRM system and minimize implementation risks. Manager introducing a CRM system in their company should remember that there are management implications for introducing new systems. CRM is a strategic business solution and not a technical one. So management must not introduce CRM technology as an extra part and must be a part of the enterprise management solution. When organizations make a decision on a new ERP system, they also need to incorporate CRM in their vision because it is much easier and economical to implement CRM with the ERP system than to do them separately. Even when a company doesn't have a budget to implement them together, it is still advisable to have a CRM solution in their vision and planning efforts and roll out to the two technologies at different time periods. Another reason management should consider CRM as a business solution is that successful CRM implementation requires a proper mix of good people, business process and information technology, so management is in the best position to decide on this mix. CRM should not be implemented as a single system or at one time. Companies should try to implement a system step by step or function by function. When considering a CRM implementation, there will be a piece of system scattered all over, for example in sales or customer service. Start with the one where the need is most critical. Make sure they are buy-in from individual users and departments as well as from management. CRM comes in a variety of shapes and sizes, but there is no real off-the-shelf solution. Every CRM implementation is unique and must be customized to the needs of the organization. CRM systems include a basket of technologies, such as market research, sales automation, and customer service that can be implemented as a hosted solution or installed in-house on the company server. Even CRM provides a great solution for one-on-one -on -one individual marketing. It also provides a good mechanism for privacy and ethical violations, as CRM and other technology-based processes that collect data on consumers have come under fire because there is a great potential for the misuse of this information. Organizations spend millions of dollars to keep databases secure from theft, loose damage, or manipulation from hackers. In summary, CRM systems are an integral part of enterprise systems for today's global market where many organizations are competing for the same customers who in turn have easy access to market information with global connectivity. CRM provides one-on-one -on -one relationship with the consumers to improve their buying experience and to help organizations compete both effectively and efficiently. CRM as a concept is an old as business. No business can survive in a competitive environment without keeping a customer happy. The first generation of CRM was manual and focused on the narrow domain of the sales management with the powerful computers and sophisticated data analysis techniques, the second generation of CRM provides a holistic view of every customer interactions with the organization and increase the customer contact points with different media channels. Today, CRM are integrated with enterprise systems, apply sophisticated data mining techniques to understand and predict customer purchasing patterns and provide unique real-time experience to customers based on their context, such as physical locations and current needs. A wide variety of CRM systems are available today. They can be categorized by functionality, business strategy, and implementation perspective. They are most probably categorized into operational, analytical, and collaborative CRMs. The customer relationship process is complex and integrates several functional areas of the organization. The process can be divided into CRM delivery process, CRM support process, and CRM analytical process. 
It is not possible to automate the entire value chain of customer relationship due, due to it is knowledge intensiveness. Good customer relationship management requires integration of people, business process, and technology to deliver value to the customer. A CRM system combines a wide variety of computers and communication technology. The major component of the CRM system are market research tools, Salesforce automation, software, customer service and support tools, and data mining and analytics. CRM solutions exist in hosted and installed environments where organizations must carefully evaluate their CRM needs before deciding on which option is best for them. CRM implementation must never focus on technology solution. CRM solutions must be part of a corporate strategy from the beginning and they must be part of the enterprise system solutions. Thank you and see you next lecture.